So tell me this. Tell me a little bit the 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 story of okay. the the model as you remember it. Uh, the reason for the model goes back just after summer in the '61. Right. Over Arab, and his uh, his firm had been working. Four years on the shelves. Right. On on uh, what do you call a parabola mm -hmm. geometry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I weren't okay. I, I said I have said bad, bad things about them, but in reality, one has to understand that they tried to respect Utzon's sketches, mm -hmm. and Utzon's sketches were freehand without any geometry. Mm -hmm. So they got they got to the parabola, parabola uh, as a, mm -hmm. as a system, but in uh, it would have been during August sixty one. Arab calls himself uh, Utsan say, "We give up. We can't do it. The shelves can't be built." Mm -hmm. They were going in uh, two months to go to Sydney and explain how to how the shelves should be built. So it was a rather nasty situation. Yeah. They simply said, we give up, we can't do it, it can't be built. And uh, we were sitting there, and it didn't, it didn't take more than three, four days. Then Jörn came down to the office and said, I have, I have the worst team of architects anybody have. Here you're being sitting, and you can't see that it's so easy and simple. It simply has to be a sphere. And then he, I still, uh, somebody say that the story about the orange is not right, but uh, it is. He sent one of us over to the, to the shop and bought an orange and he peeled it and took up the segments. And he said, they're all segments, they're all alike, but you can cut them so they... They are different. Different. And... Um, that's that's we were, so we had to find out to find the sphere which would correspond to the volume we had worked with in the in the other geometry. I was a bit involved in that, and when that was done, uh, we simply made that drawing. And I think I went down to the to the model shop at the ship shipyard in uh, in Elsinore, who made all our big models because. They make the them much better. Resim I mean, uh, those are the best you can find. So we made that one there. And then later on we, we made the other models which I haven't got, with, with the segments. Right. Yeah, you know them from photos. Yeah, yeah. They're much more, so, they're much more commonplace. And then we, John called Arab, back to Arab, and said, it can be done, but we have to change the geometry. And Arab, the firm of Arab nearly exploded. His engineers were so, so bl bloody. They were, they were crazy because they have worked years and years and years. On, a, and on another, on a different yeah, geometry. Yeah, and suddenly changes everything. and say, oh no, we give up the parabola, we make a, a sphere. So he nearly lost his firm. And, uh, the one and was, this was Jack Zuntz. No, he, then, then came in, Jack, at that moment, came in Jackson's. Right. Uh, and and right Peter now. Rice as well? Or? Peter Rice, no. Peter Rice I met first time in Sydney. Yeah. He didn't play a very big role at that moment. Mm -hmm. One never, never really. He came to a few meetings, but he didn't take part. He was really an apprentice at that mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's fabulous to see what happened to him later on, but I think he learned a lot there. Mm -hmm. But there came that new team, and uh, unlock, then we decided to go to Sydney, move to Sydney, and down there they made up an office, and uh, unluckily it was not led by Jacksons, because you could work, I had to take care of it, but uh, I think that there was a good there was a good uh, collaboration with Jackson's, mm -hmm. even if he he asked me to tell Jörn that Jörn couldn't get all he wanted, he had mm -hmm. to give in. 
And they say, it's not up to me, I have to do what you understood, I told me to do. So I insisted. Mm -hmm. And there were, there were already frictions, a bit of frictions. But it was worse when we got down to Sydney and uh, the office down there was, was, uh, was uh, led by uh, Mick Lewis. And who hated the opera house and hated you and all what we were doing. So there, there, there the collaboration with Arab simply broke down. Mm -hmm. And that's a pity. Arab, Arab himself has been putting out of it for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you, imagine uh, when he... Uh, the big thing with Arab was when he created the folded flap for the entrance. Mm -hmm. You know, the concourse. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that taught us about the possibility of concrete construction. But then he he lost interest and let it everything be done with that with his, his team and per, didn't take very much part of it personally. But I also understood that it was part of a withdrawal by Arab from the practice a little bit, generally, uh, not just from was, the opera. He was concentrated on certain bridges and so on. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we felt that he, he let us down mm -hmm. because uh, he should have helped us against his own his own office. Yeah. yeah. And he didn't. And that's and why I've been talking pretty badly about him. And it's not it's not good because he was a marvelous man. I really liked him. And did you, so when did you, after the model was made, when did, how, quick, how soon after that did you go to uh, Sydney? There you are. Yeah. Nice. Um, how soon after 60, so you went in 61 or 60? 60 61, oh, already. We, we straight away, we, then we thought that you could, you could, all, you could put them up in, uh, in ribs. Yeah. And all ribs had this could be done in the same formwork. Mm -hmm. Shortening up, they had to be cut to the lengths which were practical for, mm -hmm. for cranes and so on. Mm -hmm. But they could be made of the same forms by, and except, of course, the top, what would have to be cut. Mm -hmm. So uh, we could see it could be mass produced, we could control the mm -hmm. quality, which would never, which we could, wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to if it has been done simply built up in the mm -hmm. uh, 60 meters height. <laughs> So, uh, but the uh, so I also understand the the role of the model. The model had a big role in persuading everybody, the client, Arabs, and so on, that the scheme was possible in this. It, it was possible. Arab Arab checked that. I can't remember some very well known of French engineers right. who said okay for it. it it's in the in the big book. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember yeah. I have no memory. But uh, but uh, they they did a great, great work mm -hmm. because they have to calculate they have to calculate everything. They have to find out how you would tie the things together mm -hmm. with cables mm -hmm. and uh, it it was amazing. How many models of this? I guess that the, this is the first edition. I yeah. guess we only made ten. Right. Which were distributed to the client, to so the engineer, and other people. Right. And uh, we were two of us who got one. Yeah. Then later on. Who was the other one of you who uh, got one? I don't talk much about him, Jon Lundberg. Right. Because he, be he became. Uh, he became. Uh, what do you call. Uh, Past, past modern and uh, skipped oh. every, left everything. So we we have. He's written out of history. We saw. I didn't write him out. I thought thought Blundell and uh, Western that they could talk to him. I said right. no, we won't. We have already talked with somebody mm -hmm. else from the office, and he's he's not interested. So mm -hmm. it might not. He wasn't pushed pushed away by me, which his wife thought. Mm -hmm. But um, then we came to Sydney. And I can't remember in what year after one and a half year it is, we made another edition down there. I don't know. Another edition exactly the exactly same? Exactly the same. Right. It was repeated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if there was a third edition made later on again, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So I guess for me, 
there would exist around the 20, 20 pieces of them in the world. Right, 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 right. And the, the, the first I saw some whales was in 69 at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Right. They, they had one already. Of at this that, series. At, at that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I, I don't think how many there would I, there wouldn't be many around. No, 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 I'm sure. So how long was Moneo with you on the project? One year. One year. Yeah. He learnt a lot. He... He learnt... He took away a lot from Sydney. Uh, he... It helped him later on. And I think his family had very good connections in Spain. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and the first thing he did, I think, was the best, that was a museum with brickworks. Ah, it's that, the most beautiful. Um, the Allies, yeah. it's, that's the, the best, station that's so the on. best project I, after I, I, that. I think that that's the one which really interested yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. why I felt him. We were pretty good friends, but uh, of course, like many others, he was, a, he was the one who made the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs>